Well, hello everyone. Uh, my name is Dr. Joe Purita. I'm an orthopedic surgeon by training. I've been doing orthopedics for about 40 years or so. And for about the last 15 years or so, I basically have been involved in regenerative medicine, more specifically with stem cells. So I kind of wear two hats, the hat of an orthopedic surgeon, the hat of a stem cell and regenerative medicine physician. And uh, I'm more than happy to talk about these things because to me, it's a passion of mine. It's not just a, uh, an advocation, it's something that I'm really interested in. I, I teach all over the world, and however I can get the field to be more understood by the public is, is definitely one of my goals. You know, I, I have one saying that I tell people, cells, not doctors, heal patients. We can kind of, you know, give you things, but it's ultimately your cells that have to get you better, and we can guide those cells to the right way. You know, acupuncture, very in interestingly, uh, you know, like, like a lot of physicians, you know, you're fresh out of school, you're told, for instance, supplements don't work, and acupuncture probably doesn't work. And I said, wait a minute, why should I just assume that what they told me is the truth? So I started investigating and I said, wait a minute, this makes a lot of sense. For something that's been around for 2,000 years, it stood the test of time. There has to be some validity here. So I started reading a little bit more about it. I'm certainly not an acupuncturist by any way, shape, or form, but it's something that I respect because I know it's something that can help patients in many different directions, in many different fields. So it's another avenue to treat my patients, and I think it's a very good avenue. And, and as my journey's gone on, it's very interesting. I, I've become involved with a certain type of cell called a very small embryonic-like stem cell. Now, it's a cell found in each and every one of us, and it's sort of like an emergency stem cell a supplier body has. And as I was reading about it, one day I became very intrigued and it was the aha moment for me. Because all of a sudden I read this article from some, some obscure doctor in North Korea of all places. And he said, you know, there's a system in the body called the Bonghan channels. And he said, this, this Bonghan system is circulating throughout the body and it's sort of the principle of acupuncture. But interestingly enough, he said, there's a very potent stem cell found in these channels. And lo and behold, it was a stem cell that I was really intrigued about, called a very small embryonic-like stem cell. It's what we call a pluripotent cell, meaning it can form almost any cell in the body. It's typically asleep in our body, but given the right circumstances, it's awakened, and it can do some very powerful things. It's one of my tools in my stem cell office, and I think it's a tool of any good acupuncturist because acupuncture basically activates these cells. And I'm convinced that's one of the main tenets of how acupuncture works. It's stimulating these cells, which then go and do all their good work. If you have a, a heart transplant, if you have a hip replacement or knee replacement, ultimately your cells have to heal that wound. So we as physicians, be it either as an acupuncturist or oriental doctor physician or a medical doctor, et cetera, we're basically helping to guide these cells, and we guide them in the proper way, and, that, and that's how nature works. Now, another thing I've learned about acupuncture, it works a lot with what we call cytokines. Cytokines are basically growth factors. Almost every disease known to man is an imbalance of cytokines, okay? You have either too much of one or too little of another. And in order to get your health, these things have to be very precisely balanced. Now, for instance, to give you an idea how cytokines work, when we're dealing with the COVID-19, our body's zeal to sometimes get rid of the virus causes something called a cytokine storm, where your body's actually trying so hard to kill the virus that it's actually killing cells. Now, lo and behold, there's a lot of studies now underway using acupuncture to try and calm this storm down, because if you can calm this storm down, you're gonna be saving lives people that are basically in COVID-19 cytokine storms. So another very intriguing fact of, of, of acupuncture, how it can help the body balance cytokines. I mean, again, we're all interrelated with each other as far as being professionals. I'll send Dr. Wilcox patients, he'll send me patients, and we can all complement each other. All sorts of conditions. I'll see somebody who basically has an acute ankle sprain. He works in the NFL as a very, very, talented player, he'll come and see me, then I'll see somebody who's 80 years old who says, I don't want to have a knee or hip replacement, can you help me with stem cells? So it runs the gamut. Now we'll, we'll see people for anti-aging, we'll see people with autoimmune diseases who basically want to try and get off a number of medications. 
Uh, so it's a whole gamut of things that I'll see. And we don't turn away too many people, but we also don't do ridiculous things either. There are certain things that I'm not going to help a patient. If somebody comes to me and they have uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS or something like that, or Alzheimer's, I'm not going to help them with stem cells. That, that's foolish. But I think someday we're going to be able to help it. But at the present you know, level of our knowledge, we're not able to help those people right now. Well, I think it has a lot, and again, I, I'm not an acupuncturist by any way, but I think it has something to do with some electrical impulses in the body. Certainly has a very uh, profound effect, I believe, on the nervous system. And that's where we, we, again, we start getting secretion of various growth factors and things like that. And, and that's what I think does, does the good, because I know how good these growth factors work. I mean, basically stem cells make growth factors. They're little biochemical factories. And I think we're basically prodding these stem cells along when we do acupuncture, when we're putting a needle in a certain area. It's giving certain signals to the cells to do certain things. You know, my thoughts about how acupuncture is going to be helpful is basically it's going to become more and more prominent. It's, it's like anything else. Anything that's been around for 2,000 years, that has staying power. That tells you something. I mean, you know, Western medicine has not been around for 2,000 years, really, really, when all said and done. So I think acupuncture, we're going to just keep discovering more and more things about acupuncture and how it's basically related to mainstream medicine and, and Western medicine and things like that. There's no, you know, there's not going to be any, oh, well, this is here and this is here. No, they're all blending together and they're all going to complement each other. And it's going to be an exciting time because there's, there's some really interesting things that we're going to find out about this. I mean, acupuncture deals with many different systems in the body and these same systems are basically what I'm dealing with with stem cells. So they're very similar uh, entities. Sometimes people ask me, where have you lectured? So the, the easiest thing for me to say is I've lectured on every continent with the exception of Antarctica. So maybe someday I'll get there, but I've lectured extensively in Asia, uh, in South America, North America, obviously, Europe, uh, and uh, all other places. Australia, I've been to a few times. And I would do some crazy trips. Sometimes I would basically uh, leave on a Thursday morning from uh, the Miami area, and I would fly to Shanghai, and I'd be back in my office in Boca Raton on a Monday. And I have stem cells to thank me because I'd give myself some of my own stem cells, and it pretty, pretty much would give me a lot of vim and vigor. But uh, lecturing is one of my passions. I love to teach docs, and I, and I love to teach them the practical things. But I have a, a saying to the doctors. I said, you need to know the basic science in order to make these things work. If you're not interested in the basic science, please don't do stem cells. Do something else, because like anything else in science, if you don't know the basics, you're never going to know the intricacies of it. Okay, well, somebody uh, asked me, uh, how did I actually uh, come in contact with Dr. Wilcox uh, initially? And it was kind of, I believe, a mutual thing. I believe it was his wife. Now, of course, I'm kind of maybe violating HIPAA laws here because I'm mentioning a patient, but I don't think he minds and she minds. And she had some problems with her knee. And I know uh, Dr. Wilcox had been treating her. She was getting better, but he said, you know, like anything else, maybe there's some other alternatives. And I saw him and I said, Tony, I think we can help her. Let's try a PRP, which is what we call platelet-rich plasma. We take it from the blood. It's sort of like a number of growth factors in the blood. We treated her knee and I believe her back and she got significantly better. And it was a mutual respect that I had with Dr. Wilcox and he had for me. And we've been working together for many years now, sending each other patients. And uh, it's just something that we have, like I say, a mutual respect for each other.